The CD had depreciated over 13% this month, recording its 25th straight year of decline against major trading currencies. Nuang Falong recaps the local currency's performance over time. Ghana adopted the city in 1965 to replace the Ghanaian pound, which was equal in value to the British pound. Decades of high inflation led to a redenomination in July 2007. 10,000 Ghana cities at the time became equivalent to one city. Two of the reasons given by the central bank for the redenomination were the increasing difficulty in maintaining accounting and statistical records. The redenomination was not expected to affect the intrinsic value of the city. Since then, the Ghanaian currency has lost about 80% of its value. Interventions by government are yet to yield significant stabilization. Ghana's city is headed for its 25th straight year of depreciation against the dollar as government fiscal challenges erode investor confidence. By December 13 this year, the city had lost almost 13% of its value to the U.S. dollar compared to the same period in 2018 when it shed about 8.2% to the U.S. currency. The city currently trades at 5 CD 68 pesos to a dollar. Slightly up after the Bank of Ghana injected $125 million into the Ghanaian economy between October and December 2019 to shore up dollar in circulation and boost liquidity and forestall rapid depreciation. A move that has been strongly criticized by both the IMF and the World Bank. Depreciation rate is now the highest in the last four years, only a few percentage points shy of the 15.7% depreciation recorded in the whole of 2015. From 2016 to 2018, the city depreciated by 9.6%, 4.9% and 8.4% respectively. The city is down 13% so far in 2019 according to data compiled by Bloomberg. The city has declined every year since 1994. Investors are concerned government won't stick to spending targets as it gets closer to an election year. Other forces are overshooting fiscal deficit and debt from areas. Investors are concerned that the plan outlined in the 2020 budget will not be met because revenue continues to underperform. Short-term intervention is sabotage. Absolute sabotage. In December, the Bank of Ghana introduced higher denominations. Analysts are still uncertain of the exact impact it could have. Ghana's budget deficit is forecast to widen to 4.9% of gross domestic product this year from 4.1% in 2018, according to the median estimate in a Bloomberg survey of economists. The shortfall is rising as the government increases spending to pay for financial sector bailouts and liabilities in the energy sector. The central bank's inability to quickly build foreign reserves due to a deficit in the current account is another source of the city's weakness. Even though the trade account is in surplus, the current account is in deficit, impeding accumulation of foreign reserves. Gross reserves have hovered around $8 billion for some time, which suggests the central bank has not aggressively intervened to support the currency. Noang Falong, TV3.